First, let's journey to Italy to examine the province of Trieste, an area that stretches 48 kilometers 30 miles along the coast into Slovenia. The region was once a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and was later claimed by Italy after World War I. However, Italy lost the territory after World War II and Trieste briefly became an independent city-state under UN protection in 1947 before being divided between Italy and Yugoslavia in 1954, establishing the unusual border we see today. Moving on to number two, we find ourselves in India, where most borders seem relatively conventional except for a peculiar arrangement in the east. This oddity is the Siliguri Corridor, a narrow strip of land connecting two regions of India. The corridor's origins can be traced back to the partition of India by the British in 1947, which separated West and East Pakistan. India was left with the northeastern region connected to the rest of the country through the slender Siliguri Corridor, which at its narrowest point is a mere 27 kilometers, 17 miles wide. Our next destination is Afghanistan, where the Wakhan Corridor extends 350 kilometers, 220 miles away from the rest of the country, with varying widths between 13 to 65 kilometers, 8 to 40 miles. This seemingly inexplicable border was shaped by 19th century geopolitical competition between the Russian and British empires. To avoid direct conflict, they expanded Afghanistan eastward to create a buffer state, resulting in the Wakhan Corridor that separates Tajikistan from Pakistan. Now, we turn our attention to Africa, where colonial history has left its mark on the continent's borders. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there are not one but two panhandles Congo Central and the Congo Pedicle. These border anomalies stem from disagreements between Belgian and British colonial authorities. The King of Italy intervened and drew a border that has remained in place to this day. Lastly, we arrive in Namibia, where an elongated protrusion called the Caprivi Strip extends 450 kilometers, 280 miles, northeast from the main territory. This unusual border resulted from Germany's colonial ambitions between 1884 and 1915. The Chancellor of Germany, Leo von Caprivi, sought access to the Zambezi River, and in exchange for giving up claims to Zanzibar, Germany was granted this lengthy strip of land. The strip's borders do not align with the ethnic and linguistic divisions of Africa, leading to its unique configuration 